Ma a meno che non My own people that are arriving. Just one. Just one second. Ma <laughs> Okay, everybody. Again, welcome and uh, good morning, good evening, uh, wherever you are around the world. Thank you for joining us for this uh, session with Aragaki Toshimitsu Hanshi. Um, we're very pleased that they agreed to, to uh, teach uh, in this session today. And today the focus is on uh, kata. Um, I know Sensei uh, wants to go through some basic principles of kata and then look at some um, practice uh, and some applications from um, our Hatsubashi Asai. Uh, today uh, we will be going uh, through for 90 minutes and we will take one or two breaks along the way. If you have any questions along the way, please write them into the chat function. Um, we will also try and have some time to take your questions verbally, but if you write them into the chat function, then it'll be much easier for us to see what they are and relay them to Arakaki Center. Uh, I will do my best to provide an English translation as we go along. Um, and we'll make the recording available to you all via a private link after the event. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, hello, everybody. Uh, Still, we are all uh, uh, troubled by the ongoing virus problems in the world, um, but we are very pleased to be with you here today. And uh, Sensei said that he's happy that we can be here, um, myself and Miltos, alongside. So we're going to focus on kata in this seminar, but please relax and enjoy the seminar. We want to have a relaxed and enjoyable seminar today. Um, please, uh, please treat us well. <laughs> So since it's, it's, it's six o'clock here now in Okinawa, usually seven o'clock is dinner time for him. Um, so he's not going to overdo it, stay relaxed so that uh, um, he's, uh, it doesn't affect his appetite. Okay, let's do our best. Okay, so um, this is a uh, training session. Please follow along as best you can. Um, and what we will do at certain points is, I think Sensei wants to take an opportunity to take a look at your kata um, and provide some, some points of, of uh, guidance to you individually as well. So we'll try and, um, and put those, those uh, points into the session. Into the session. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of warming up exercises. So when we think about Kiba Dutch, sometimes the toes, um, sometimes we, uh, uh, the toes, or some people pull the toes in, but really the feet should be parallel. The outsides of your feet should be parallel in this Kiba Dutch stance. で、so Tosu Sensei, um, from which that say that the toes in and the hanchi stance has come down, um, was uh, heavily influenced by his torture practice with Nagahama Sensei as well. Um, uh, 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 Matsumura Sokong advocated this parallel stance. And so this is the, the real kind of shurite uh, way of standing, with the, not with the feet turned in, the more naha way, nahate stance, but with the feet parallel. So it's net. If you pull your toes in, then you're not you're not quite so stable. Okay, warming up exercises. Okay, warming up exercises. Okay. So as you probably know in karate, uh, we uh, use our elbows a lot and we want to warm up the elbow joints. So these movements are for, for warming up these elbow joints. So don't just move the arms kind of rigidly, extend and flex the elbows. Okay. この前屈の、この前の足の膝の曲げ方、どのくらい曲げればいいですかという質問がよくあるんですよ。我々があの、2段3段これもありました。で、中村先生よく聞きました。どのくらい曲げればいいですかと。で、中村先生の話では自分の
、両手が結んだところをつけます。三角突き。If you go up too high, you open up your armpit too much. It's knee, some knee, walk, 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 Wrist joint should be level with your shoulder. Not too high, not any low. So, kiss the corner and you cool. Watch the middle. Close your armpits and keep the hands in front of your shoulders. So, it's the go each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Hey. You want to go down, get down, get. Each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Hey, go. Then. We get a massage key. マスズキもこ,こうはしない。これもビギナーズこう,こう見えるけれども決してことない。力を出してつけば自然に戻ります。力が弱い人はこう戻りません。見てください、これ。決して引いてください、これ。力強く突く。突くことによって彼らがあの反対的に戻ってきます。この戻りがこうであって、これを1、2じゃない。So, when we're doing this punch to the side, you shouldn't overpunch with too much just、uh, arm power and overextend. We'll punch naturally so that the hand then comes back to this natural position afterwards. Each, knee, one, two, go. Both of the same way, this is the same way. The people who are looking at this are the same way. Each, knee, go, two, go. こっちにバネてこう引いて、引いてるわけですね。光ってるわけです。自然に、自然に戻ってる。これ分からない人はこう、こうする。そうじゃない。これも力でつけば、必ずこれ戻ります。少しは。この戻った瞬間からこうなってるわけです。これは1、2じゃない。So when punching forward with the arm, sometimes people kind of make the error of not fully extending the arm at the point of the punch.、Um, because When you punch, you should then relax back into natural stance where there is a, a slight bend in the arm. So、uh, you should punch and extend, fully extend, and then you can relax back into sort of a more natural position afterwards. So, I have no time for that, so I will do it in a very important way. よい。So, in Okinawa and Karate, really regardless of、uh, styles across all styles, putting your hips into the movements and using your hips is an important part. 
だから腰の入った体っていうのはもうパワーも入ってるし見ても美しいですから腰の入ってる形っていうのはとても綺麗ですこれはあの体だけじゃなくて琉球舞踊もそうです腰の入った舞踊はとても綺麗 So if you can move from your hips、um, this gives you more power generation and also much better form、um, This is actually expressed very well, not just in Okinawan karate, but also Okinawan dance. So, the same principles of using the hips as the basis for movement and putting your hips into the movement, as they say, is,、uh, is equally important. So, this is a bad example. This is kind of not how not to do it. しかし今間違えたのはもう本当にもうただ手と足を動かせばいいという感じ。もう武道じゃないです。体ではない。なぜかと言いますと、腰が入ってない。腰が入ってないというのところ、パンチがどこをつけるのかわからん。そういう感じはありません、特に。ですから、これを今。So that was an example of, of Higadechi, but Sensei is saying,、uh, without, uh, he purposely didn't put the hip movement in there to demonstrate that if you don't have the hip movement, it's not really, you're not really achieving. The aims of karate, the principles, which is that you put your full body movement and your power into, into your karate. So, this is an example of not putting hips into the movement. So, not using hip rotation.、Um, しし so, the result of that is I didn't really break or affect Miltos's movement. Or his,、um, his, his forward momentum or his attacking movement. Put the hip into it, then it becomes much more damaging. Thank、you 
手が、まあ、正確に分かる。こっちまでこっち来てるよ。決してこうじゃない。もう一度。この色を使わせると肩もきれいですよ。きれいですし、パワーが入ってるからきれいです。腰部に入ってる。そう、先生、先生、このように move with this kind of form so you can generate power with each move。じゃあ、この呼吸型位置のこの肩を基本にして、腰の入れ方、パンチの付き方、これが基本にして、ピン何なんかもでもできるわけです。頭に腰の入れ方をインプットする、インプットする。So for you, for you, Kata, it's a, it's a, as, a, as a training tool, a training structure, we need to learn this skill of putting hips into our movement, then we can transfer that skill into Pinan Kata, for example, and other Kata. Yeah.先輩方から、大先輩からあの聞いた話ですけれども、このピンアンの方には、私たちの松林流のご参考、チンと、五十四号って長い方がありますけれども、それを縮めたものがピンアンというわけです。特にピンアン初段。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。Uh, these techniques, which occur in, the, in the, many of the, of the older,、uh, let's say the higher level kata, chinto, u c h i etc., these, a lot of these are condensed and kind of uh, uh, summarized into the pinan kata. So the pinan kata are, good, are good, therefore, kind of a study point for the, the, the older and、um, let's say more higher level kata. ピンガンの方でも、例えば悪い例、腰の入ってないという方は1、1、1ピンガンの置き方でありますよ、ピンガンの置き方でありますよ、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1、1
小さいのタクシーの方が1。だからこうするともう全部さ、もうどうしようもないもんね。かえって笑っている。これぐらいしかできないのか。もう、ミスター・チェームスは、あらきの先生たちも笑っている。何も力入ってない。何も,何もできないから。これをそうまっすぐかの。受けたから。1。シュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッシュッ It's not a good idea to continue to attack you. So you need to, to start to, to, to hurt and disable their,、um, their hands and the punches that are coming into you. So you really need to put your full power through your hip movement into that. First, you're going to do it with, with no, no hip movement in it. You see in that example that Notos' is,、um, stance,、uh, his intention、um, wasn't really diverted. He wasn't really putting any pain or discomfort or knocked away from his line of attack. And so he would have continued to attack. So it's very, very important that you, you put、uh, your, your hip movement and, and your koshi eri into all of your movements、um, when you're doing the pinan. これを私の方が実際やってみますと、ジェームズの方に攻撃してもらって、まずは腰の入ってない猫足の人を受ける。かわいい。腰の入ってない。はい。はい。はい。はい。もう。So here, Sensei is showing without putting any hip movement into it, it just becomes like flapping your arms, right? So, if you, you know, Sensei, you're putting the, the hip movement, he's, he's knocking my punches off center. So, I'm missing, I'm missing with my strike. If he doesn't do that, I have the weight and momentum to basically just you know, plow it through him with my strike. So, 
Chin free. So by putting hips in and reversing the first one, it then makes it much more harder for him to follow through with the second hand, right? If it's a left, right? If the left has been pushed across the body, then continuing with the right becomes more difficult for him. So, as you are well aware, particularly Matsu Mashu practitioners, the core part of our training is Kote uh, Kitai. Um, and this is to build up our ability to utilize our forearms with actual impact um, so that we're not, uh, you know, we don't have a problem with, with using our arms either to defend or, or to attack. And so it's very important that we, we build up our ability to take impact on our arms through doing our Kote Kitai exercise. Okay, so at this point we're going to take a very short break, just a one minute, grab a, few, a little drink of water. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to take a quick look at those. And we're just going to take five minutes to put one or two questions to Arik Accenso before we continue. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, I should have spotlighted the screen before. My apologies. Um, okay. We don't have any questions in the uh, in the chat. Uh, does anybody want to uh, just turn their mic on and ask a question? If not, we will continue on. But uh, if anybody wants to ask a question, please do so. Okay. James, can I ask a question, please? Yeah. Is that Steve? Yeah. Hi. Uh, since he often um, talks about emphasising the strength in the in the technique from an upper body perspective, so for the shuto uki that he was just talking about, but the corresponding stance that that's performed in with the neko ashidach is relatively unstable. What's the correlation between the two? シュート、あの、the the advantage of the Nekra statue is that uh, with the, the light, the light, um, the, uh, the lightness of the front foot, you're ready to, to, to move again, you're ready for the next move, which might be a kick or a step. In order to be able to, as you can see, to respond, for example, respond with a kick, a counter kick, and then move in, you want to have that, that kind of unweighted front foot. Yes, there are. So you're moving, you know, approximately 80% of your weight onto the back, but leaving 20% on the front foot. So think about the, the foot as being ready to, to as for a, as a counter attack, as a counter attacking weapon as well. Yeah, I understand. The demonstration that Sensei just did was perfect because it, he's actually, he's in like a Nekoashi Dutch, but both of the feet are planted. And then once the, it, so it's a timing, it was a timing issue. Yeah, it, you, you can't see it from your angle quite so well as well, but when he's moving, he's moving off my line as well. So I'm punching through the center, but when, he's, when he moves into Nekoashi Dutch, he's moving slightly off line and moving again, uh, Using a little bit of tie to move off this off my line as well. Understood. Thank you. Back is going, going off at an angle. So. Thank you. Perfect. So, just thinking about, thinking about the principle of the, the front hand is the attacking hand. And in the same way, the front leg. Front kick is the attacking, the attacking kick or leg as well. That's that's uh, uh, that's perfect. Thank you. The um the, the kata is a much more formal representation of that, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, so then, then we get, yeah, so we think about oyo. So the kata and the oyo, although they're related, you know, they have different objectives. Um, so, and therefore expressed in ways, in different ways to meet those objectives. So, okay, that's, uh, that's a great question. Thank you very much, Steve Sensei. Let's, uh, let's continue. Let me go back to spotlight us. Okay. 
Okay. じゃあ、今日の課題であります、パッサイ。パッサイは、泊まりパッサイもあるんですけれども、処理パッサイの方がやっぱり限定ですね。と言われています。So, as we want to look at the Passai kata, so、uh, we practice what's known as 泊まりパッサイ。But、uh, 処理パッサイ was really、uh, the origin of, of パッサイ。ですから、泊まり手の我々がやっているパッサイは、あの、処理手のパッサイにはちょっと違うんですよ。まあ、とことこ似てますけれども。So, you know, our t o m a r i p a s a i is、um, significantly different from, say, other, other versions of、uh, Shuri p a s a i Of course, it, it has a lot of similar points, but then has, a, has a, a significantly different points too. まあ、やっぱりですよ。私たちは泊まり手ですから、泊まり手の方が最高ですよ。Of course, as we are, from our heritage, We will say that tomari, tomari te is, is better. Yeah, <laughs> 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 あのデブスのちょっとだけあの目のやり場が違ってました。So Sensei wants to show one point to correct my kata, which is I was looking in slightly the wrong direction in this one. So, so you should be looking forward rather than to the side when you're doing the lateral. Punch with the key. So, <coughs> what Sensei would like to do is just take a quick look at、uh, your performances of. of、uh, The kata.、Um, so, what we'll do is go back to gallery view.、Um, and if you guys want to just、uh, practice the kata, and、um, I'll assist Sensei just to have a, have a look. Okay, so take the next, let's say, three, four minutes. If you just run through your Pasai kata practice, and、uh, we will watch from here, Sensei will watch from here. Right? Okay, so you guys can start your, your. If you know the kata, just go ahead and start practicing it, and we'll take a look.
Oh, so how do I get, how do I maximize the control here? Do I just click on it or how do you utilize it? I'm going to shut it just so since I can see this one. Now. And uh, there's uh, options here. Um, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. Pretty big. Um, Hello, Sensei. Hello, Jim San. Hello, oh, hi. Hey. Just, just talking about just this part in the kata, just looking at your kata. Just talking about the part where you are doing the double grab and going into Kosadachi before um, driving down with the uh, Sokoto to break the leg. Um, could you just do that piece again? So, uh, 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 oof. so sorry that that bit. Um, um, uh, oh, Kakite, Kakite, Kakuke. Yeah, this yeah, that's the one that part. Oh. So, Joe, what Sensei is saying there, feedback for you, is that um, when you've uh, when you uh, when you've gone from the lateral punch and you've moved through the forward kind of dropping uke, yeah. Um, there's a kakiyuke, you come in and, and, and catch the arm, the, imagine the opponent's arm coming, you come in and catch it with a double-handed kakiyuke, and then pivot from the hold and do the dropping sokuto. Uh, hey, I guess so. Yes. Come in, that's it, in and under, and grab with kakiyuke. Yeah, and then imagine you're holding their arm, you pivot and pull their arm around to your side, right? Into your side. And then you hold them down, and then you drive in and break the knee. Yeah, yeah. and so at this point, your kick and your hands are going in opposite directions in order to stretch out and break their stance. Yeah. Hey. Uh, ah, thank you. We'll take you off the spotlight now. Thank you. Um, ah, so, Sally, um, Sensei is talking about the uh, the shote. Um, you're kind of doing, he says, he's, so you're kind of doing like a lifting motion. Not under. Yeah, but he says that you're driving, you should be driving the palm, driving the palm through in the, in the, in the shotes, in the opening sequence. So, so not, not so much a, not so much a lifting motion as a driving through motion. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.
わかりました。やってしまう。ケルっていう人もいるんですよ。これケルじゃない。オール。ケルじゃない。オール。ちょっとちょっと。これケルじゃない。Sometimes、uh, might see that the people are、uh, performing this as sort of a kick, or like almost like a Maya Gede or a, or a kick, but it's not. It's a it's a push break. So, if you do it this way, there's much more chance that you're going to be able to do this successfully、um, because you're locating the limb, securing the limb, and then, then applying the, the pressure. You use two hands to locate the locate l e f t from there, find it, and then break. Okay, so, so, they, so looking back at the first move in the kata, since they're saying、um, committing both hands strongly to the suke is not a good idea.、Um, you committed both hands against their single strike. So, that kind of is a concept that, you know, that the second hand could be helping or assisting the, the other hand. So, if you look at the, the, the sort of principal application from that, you could then move. Continue the movement in order to, to trap and, and put pressure onto the elbow joint. So, again, this connects to the principle of putting the hip movement in. If you put the hip movement into this movement, then you already. Starting to break their stance, and it becomes easier then to follow that through and、um, put on the arm lock. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if we look at that example where not really putting any hip movement into it. So I couldn't divert him, he's attacking mine, and he hit me in the center.
Isn't the same couple of things here? So here we're returning this uh, the, 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 the right hand coming from the back uh, is uh, trapping, trapping and controlling, and then the front hand is attacking. <laughs> Um, and that you should try and and then combine this into a single movement. Um, so just like when we looked at you know before, there's that that, that isobaki, and uh, the, the fairly stable grounded position, um, and rolling rolling around the outside of their incoming attack. Look. So you can then continue from there, the oh, oil, and continue the trap and You've hit then to redirect the trap, redirect the pivot, and bring them down to the ground. Okay, so since I'm uh, moving on to the done one, we get to the other side, and then we move off to the diagonal here. Yeah. Uh, since they observe that uh, some, some, someone or somebody is doing this is a very small, a very small circle, but he says the large circle there has the application. <laughs> So the the motion and then continue the circle, drop into a stance, you can drop into the floor. Okay, so since it says, um, I want to give you an opportunity to practice. Okay, so let's take the next, uh, let's say, uh, four to five minutes. If you're with a partner in particular, some of you guys, then just practice um, some of the audio that we just saw there. Okay, so that can be the outside, wrapping and striking, or catching the leg and then. Bring it down. Yeah. So, yeah. So just take the opportunity now. 
um, uh, uh, to, to practice those two, those two OER applications. Wow, I have the least to say that it's not Well, fewer screens are going to be bigger. Mr. Martin, 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 we just put you on spot right there, Sensei. Just wanted to take a closer look. Hey. Okay, Martin. Hi, so, Martin, that first, the first move in the kata, please just do that one where you're moving in with sort of the the uh, the uh, the very first move of the kata. If you could just. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the Bunkai? Bunkai. So Martin, since I just wanted to ask you, so so what do you what do you understand or think about the uh, the applications there for that particular move? Uh, my per personal. Yes. Uh, when uh, it's a big punch. A big punch. So for me, I want to move and come in to crash into his body. Just just the cut of the knee. It's kind of... mm -hmm. right. So with my with my shoulder, with my arm. Good, good for so in the, for me, with the kata, it's a straight line. But I think that's dangerous because they're coming in a straight line for me. So I think that I should come here and then come back in. No. なめみちから。はい、大丈夫です。大丈夫。オッケー。そしてこのこの受けて相手を弱めるぐらいのね、パワーでスピードと。そう。そうですね。And with with Crash here and knock their body to the side. So you hit with the arm like a 
like it's a frame, but also with the shoulder or maybe even with the body uh, coming to the side. I think about that one the same as like in, uh, in an Ifanchi Kata. Same idea. So, uh, and that sort of, and that, that lead hand is, is, is leading slightly, right? The other hand's following behind. Mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. support. Uh, they're moving in, in, in tandem, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Thanks, Sensei. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay, let's move on to the next section. Okay, so we'll go back and look at the sections of Kata again. Wait, which E. So this, this, this movement where you're grabbing, continuing the grab, dropping the weight and striking and pulling, so they say that should be one flowing continuous movement. わかりますでしょうか。決してこうではない。昔はそうで、今こう見ておくと。So they're saying that uh, in the past, the old way of uh, teaching it was that the hands came around and struck into the sides of the body. But he prefers that the hands drop forwards, forward into the into the center. So so one of Sensei's uh, oyo for this is that you're moving in, you're going to tackle them. So when you're <coughs> moving in and making 
in space. Then this drive in is to drive the hip in underneath their center of gravity. So you can roll them on the hip and drop them in front of you. Right, so we look at it one more time and then give you guys a chance to practice it. <laughs> So if you, have, if you have the space and the partner to be able to do that, even if you don't have the partner, try and visualize now that um, you're, where you're driving in to what we do, the punch and the ki, what we're doing is driving the hip underneath, underneath and in the center of their, essentially into their groin, right? Below their belt, below the center of gravity, and then continuing the movement to roll them and drop them in front of you. So just give that a try now, just practice that movement. So Steve and Sally, right, yeah, rather than that step your leg behind, this is like almost more like a sumo throw. Yeah, you're driving into their groin. So you actually your leg goes. Could you show me once more, please? So my leg is already kind of in between his two. Yeah. And once I've got to this point, my legs already in between the two. So if I step behind here, I'm going off my center and he stays on his center. So I'm, I'm never going to throw him like that, right? I need to drive through. through. It's not, it's not really a leg attack. You're not really attacking the legs. You're driving in and under his center, like getting literally underneath his hips and then rolling him over your hips. It's not a leg sweep. It's not a, it's not a bot, it's not a tire toshi. Drive forward, go under and through his groin. And then roll him. <laughs> yeah, which is why you want that one. Ah, so. Try not to lift him from his upper, lift him from his lower, right? So, so I'm not going to try and lift him from here. Lift it so you see I'm below his center now. Go in under and lift him up from the center. So the more, the more momentum you put in and literally like smashing through his center line and getting low, you're going to go literally going to go like lower and in between his legs and into his groin so that he starts to ride up onto your hip and then roll. I want to try and make that one movement, right? So that your entry, your entry and roll become one movement. This is very uh, Okinawan sumo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Sensei wants to make the case that let's, let's go back. Yeah, spotlight. Us. Um, okay, are we spotlighted now? 
think they are. So since it was a late case that you're not always going to get the throw, if, you're, if your forward strike was a good one, that, that might just knock them back anyway, right? So. You should be looking to knock them down with this strike. It's a full body, full force, right down through through their, their lower abdomen, right? Only really if that didn't work and they were still close to you, then you continue your movement, roll and do the do the, 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 the throw. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next part of the kata with the uh, sort of yoko yokuchi. You guys follow that? Okay, so the, the kick is a pretty well. I'm quick. Pretty well. I think you have to do this. So, since they're saying that um, in the kata, we kind of have mikat spaghetti, right? But you know, for the application, you can just do this as a front kick. Um, you just want to break their stance. So their upper body falls forward and is lined up for the for the elbow strike. Easy. Yeah, 
っていくのに。So, again, do you guys want to just practice that? Just take a couple, two or three minutes just to practice that combination. Okay, so turning the hammer fist turns into that, that block, catch, and there, quickly kick, same momentum, land, and strike with the elbow. Just take two minutes to practice. ギドは一人かなどうぞ。じゃあ、二人でないかな。スピードとスピードとスピードとスピードとスピードとスピードとAnother application of the kick is, is clearing an arm where you can grab. Then you have a combination using a kick to drop the arm and the shoulder down, which brings the head forward, hitting through the elbow, striking back up, coming down. これのあのジェームズの手をほぐす。簡単なようですけれども、非常に面白いですよ、僕、H。これが、so、kind of like、simple reverse or counter for being grabbed in a, in a cross grab. So Miltus is rotating his fingers.、Uh, his thumb. He's rotating in the direction of his thumb. もうジェームスのこのこっち側がもう力ない。だから、力が弱い人がでもこれ、これで、H。So, this is a way of breaking my stance. So, even if I go strong, you、uh, can, can still apply that rotational force. Okay. Okay. 
So now a way of using dropping force, dropping a sliding force. So I'm going to use this kind of uh, rotating motion as you drag down the arm, and then using the top of the arm to pull and drag down. ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。ストップ。
That's all that we have time for. Uh, we have to finish now. So, um, like I say, if, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Um, if you have any follow on questions, uh, we will um, try and reply to those, get Sensei to, to give you some follow on from that. Um, and also, I will be posting the recording of the session in a private link, and I'll send that to everybody that was registered for the event today. So, if you guys. Um, If you'd like to switch your mics on, and um, uh, you're welcome to now. Turn to me, nice. Let's see. Okay, so since we're in the gallery, we're in the you can see it. Session. Hey, everybody. Um, <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much. I learned a lot today. I appreciate your time. あの、ステーブルさんの方から、メールで質問がありましたけれども、あの、初見法案先生の件について。私は初見法案先生から5年間稽古しましたけれども、uh, so, Steve Austin Sensei, you, you sent uh, Aikak Sensei a question by email regarding what he remembered from, from learning with uh, Hohan Soken Sensei. And he says that uh, um, Soken Sensei used to uh, always talk about using the back fist, the Uruken, as, a, as an important uh, weapon. So all of all of the students of Hohan Soken, they all were very good with using the back fist. What, what, where was that? Uh, where was primarily from then? Was that was that uh, through the Nihachi Kata or from? Sensei remembers that Soken Sensei would sit and, and practice hitting in, hitting in Uruken just all the time. So he was constantly practicing Uruken. The, the question, the question that I had was uh, around Sensei having said before that Sokan Sensei used to teach um, much more application than Nagamini Sensei used to focus more on utter than application. So it was just about how that experience of Sokan Sensei's application. Sokan Sensei wa ano Nagamini Sensei yori motto jisen karate yori masu shi to so no. So, Aragagi Sensei says he never heard of an actual story of uh, Soken Sensei being in a fight, but he had a reputation for being a fierce fighter, for being a tough fighter. Um, so, and that he did use, he, he, he did fa focus a lot more on uh, Jisen Karate, so, you know, real fighting karate. Nagamine Sensei wa kichinshi desu ne. Nagamine Sensei was more of a gentleman. De, Soken Hohan Sensei wa chotto yaganji. Whereas uh, Soken Sensei was a, a bit more of a ruffian. <laughs> so, there's no day. So, 
so the result of that was that there were quite a lot of students who kind of snuck away from the Nagamine Dojo to go and get real fighting experience with Soken Sensei. Kishaba Sensei um, was one of the ones who was who was known for, for having done that. Well, sensei says he was only with Sokin Sensei for five years, so he doesn't, you know, he didn't uh, didn't learn everything, but that's that's the sort of things he remembers. Okay, guys, thanks. We are going to have to finish here. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's, uh, we're going to have to do our final bow and say goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, James. Push up. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye